I think at first I should I should go further back because uh, before I comment on the experimental search, um, I should I, I should stress that what 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 was being looked for was 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 not uh, quite what the theorists. Uh, were thinking of in 1964 because when the six of us in 1964 were, were doing this theoretical work we were still thinking very much in terms of applying it to the broken flavor symmetries of the strong interactions and um, I mean those of us who tried to do it discovered it, it didn't work and it wasn't until three years later that uh, Weinberg realized that everybody been, had been looking at the wrong application that, and that it should be the, the, uh, the mechanism, the uh, route on the Higgs mechanism, should be applied to el electroweak theory, the Glashauer model, uh, which he did, and so did Salam. And furthermore, it still wasn't clear, even in 1967, that you could really uh, calculate without uh, the theory crushing with infinities, and it required the work of Veltman and then Toft. Uh, uh, Toft work published 1971 to to show that the whole thing was viable. Where, when the th when that became became viable um, a, as a, a real theory. With, with real calculations in 1971, uh, that's when the, uh, well, 71, 72, uh, the, there was a sort of bandwagon effect. The th all the theorists who, who had been ignoring quantum field theory climbed back into the quantum th field theory bandwagon, and it, it became a fashionable thing to do. Uh, before it became, uh, of interest to experimentalists, uh, we had to have the discovery of the neutral currents of the Glashow electroweak theory, and that was 1973. Uh, and once that had happened, uh, then experimentalists started taking the whole thing seriously too. So that by the time I uh, spent a, a couple of months at CERN in the autumn of 76. Um, people were, were beginning to plan the, the, the experiments which would test the electroweak theory. And at that stage, the machine was LEP. LEP was being planned. Um, the Large Electron Positron Collider. A year before I, I w went to CERN, uh, John Ellis, Mary Kay Gaillard, and Dmitry Nanopoulos had written a paper called The Phenomenology of the Higgs Boson, in which they, they, they sort of hinted very gently that experimentalists uh, ought to be aware of this extra feature of, of the electroweak theory. There was this, this leftover massless spin zero particle. And at the end they said, oh, because we, we, we aren't able to tell you uh, on the basis of present knowledge very much about it. We have no way of fixing the parameters. Uh, we don't want to start a big experimental search, but we think that people who do, do experiments in which it might have an influence should look out for it. And that was when it began. So there was the first phase in which uh, LEP, was, LEP was built, and as, uh, as, as I'm sure you know, you, you, you're, you're well aware, uh, even building LEP was a, a long, difficult program. Uh, I mean, it was, it was thought up in the, in the early 70s, and it um, started up, when was it, 79? Eight, 89, 89, okay. So it's, um, it's about 15 years. Uh, 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 because, the, I mean, there were big, big, pro big problems in building that sort of machine at, at all. 
And it's at this stage, and also big problems building detectors. And I think it's at this stage that the experimental collaborations begin to grow in size, not, a, not to the scale of the LHC collaborations, but lab collaborations were already uh, substantially up from, from the sort of collaborations which had uh, discovered the neutral currents, for example, or the, uh, or the, or the work which, which, had, which later on, uh, thanks to Simon van der Meer and Carl Rubier, uh, actually produced the weak bosons. So uh, the experimental program became a very large scale effort in many ways. Um, and when it came to the, the end of, um, of the LEP program, well, long before uh, people at CERN had, had, and also across the Atlantic had been thinking, thinking of the next generation of machines, um, it, it, it was clear that you know, it was going to be an even bigger uh, and longer development to produce things like the LHC and the ill-fated SSC in Texas uh, because of uh, such difficulties as the need to, to uh, make superconducting magnets to, to get the magnetic field intensities ne needed for the higher energies and the you know, vast developments in sophistication of com com computer pro programs for uh, reconstructing the the collisions and analysing the data. And uh, by, by the time the uh, LHC w w got, w was, was really re ready to, to, to go, um, experimental physics in, in, in particle physics had, had, had grown several order, orders of magnitude, I think, in scale. And it's been a really uh, her heroic e e effort um, on, the, on the part of, of many kinds of people, the, the builders of the machines, the, the uh, developers, developers of the computer s systems, uh, uh, to do it at all. And uh, I think what, what has what what has ha happened in the last year or two, w which was the, six, the the first big success of the LHC in, in actually identifying this this uh, particle, which 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 was thought up in 1964 or earlier, it, this is a this is a a, a really her heroic e effort compared with the sort of, you know, small-scale effort of the theorists back in the 60s.